good morning or whatever the time today it is that you are seeing this video um, I just wanted to make a quick a quick video about something that really bothers me and I think I need to speak up a little more because the voice of people serious people is being silenced and you have leftists and Nazis controlling the narrative and it is not a good thing so what I'm going to talk about is about those so-called documentaries that try to expose Orthodox Judaism as extreme abusive and whatever they try to make up and it's just insane in my mind the way they try to misrepresent Orthodox Judaism to the entire world. These people that make these documentaries and these organizations, they are people who are atheists. They are people who are seculars or reform Jews or plain outright anti-Semites and Christians and whatever the hell they are that try to demonize Orthodox Judaism and try to, trying to create public outrage towards Jews to try and destroy Judaism from the inside and from the outside. Now this is very important because they use key elements in their documentaries, in their YouTube videos that are very telling and sometimes I believe that these things are actually staged. Some other times they are real. Real people that come really from the Orthodox movement, but, and here's the catch, they are completely completely immoral and they don't follow Allah and of course they will lie a lot of those Jews will claim they are Chabad and um, they're not Chabad um, I mean it's like they want to frame Hasidic Judaism as a sect and they especially want like to go against Chabad that is actually a very inclusive movement and I'm sorry have hair all over, all over my face I actually try to include Jews that are reform Jews they they have the Shabbat um, programs they have amazing programs that have helped people do teshuva they, they they are amazing and these leftist organizations hate them so much because they bring people closer to god and leftists cannot stand people who know that god exists and who want to reconcile themselves with god so what they do is they will spread all this propaganda to keep people from going to the synagogue from contacting Chabad which is an amazing movement very 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 modern and very accessible and um, they will use the seedful tactics and stop at nothing to make Orthodox Judaism crumble from the inside. They have deceitful tactics like creating a proxy Orthodox movement, which is modern, modern, modern Orthodox, which is basically their way in to try to turn Orthodox Judaism into Reform Judaism. But we're not going to talk about it in this video because it's way too long, and I have a lot of rants about female rabbis and trying to, um, you know, make all these changes about transgender rabbis and stuff that is not acceptable 
according to the Alaha. So it's like basically you have reform Judaism, you have reconstructionist Judaism, you have conservative Judaism, whatever nonsense, and they could just go to those congregations, but no, it is a clear, there is a clear Trojan or horse of people who are not really orthodox, that are trying to change the orthodox movement and make it a liberal movement. Furthermore, we have the, the documentaries and all these fake propaganda things that are geared at uh, attacking and destroying real Torah Judaism from the inside. Because Nazis didn't succeed, communists didn't succeed, now what they're doing is they're trying to bring it to just to crumble from the inside. So they have to spread propaganda to the outside and to the inside and it is really 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 dreadful i think soros is financing all this and there's it's it's hard to explain because it's so complex and it's 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 on so many levels they want to give the illusion that jews control everything so that everyone turns against jews but also they want to destroy Judaism from the outside so and from the inside so it's there's a lot of things going on they push on the anti-zionist movement the anti-orthodox movement and then the they're turning Jews against each other it's really really complex and it's uh it's really it's really hard and i'm sorry for the background i try i try i try i record videos but there's always it's like i live in an anti-semitic environment and i've been unable to record videos so far i have a few ones where i end up crying and so anyway going into this particular review and the kinds of people that these documentaries employ. Lots of them are actors and paid actors, but a few of them are actually real people. Abby Steen, for instance, and Sally, the descendant of the Rebbe. I was really disappointed to, to realize that, you know, uh, it's like, they're selfish, they're, they're really spoiled brats, and how can someone who is a father to, you know, really leave the family, be so selfish, and then not happy with that, spread a lot of lies about Judaism, and spread a lot of lies about the abusive environment and all that, and abandon his own child. The thing you have to think about these doc these documentaries in particular is what kind of person is willing to abandon I'm sorry you saw my line but what kind of person is willing to abandon his own child to you know doesn't make any sense if they're willing to abandon their own children I don't know, and then they, they, they kind of make that conspiracy theory that the the, par the other parent, and either the male or female, was abusive, and this is about, there is also an Etty something in the same situation. Uh, they make it sound that they, the, their partner was abusive and uh, was forcing them to do things they didn't want to. And then they claim that there is a conspiracy theory between Orthodox Jews and the legal courts, even with secular courts that sided with them. And here's the thing, you only hear one side of the story. You only hear the side of the one 
that is leaving Judaism. You only hear the side of the one that is participating in those documentaries and you don't know the reasons for the divorce, you don't know what the person actually did, that you only know their version and so people create that empathy and see them as victims but really a good documentary would put both sides of the story but that is not a documentary that is pure propaganda and they want you to hate orthodox jews at all costs so they do everything to remove empathy towards orthodox jews and but there are really red flags in this story because you realize that the vast majority of the people featured in those documentaries are transsexual, lesbians, homosexuals, people that usually do not fit within Orthodox Judaism. And they are trying to get back at Orthodox Judaism for something that is not the fault of other Jews. It is in the Allah, it is God's commandments. And there is no, it's like, it's not like they're going to be persecuted like Muslims do. They're not going to be stoned for their, you know, uh, you know, gender disorientation. But at the same time, According to the Allah, you cannot act on it. It's, it's <sighs> And then again, you see that they choose very specific types of people to feature in their documentaries. And all these people, very, very oddly, have a very liberal approach to Judaism. You'd expect that someone that comes from Orthodox Judaism has a conservative approach to things and only slightly changes whatever applies to them. But no, what you see in those documentaries are people that literally defend something that is exactly like Reform Judaism or Conservative Judaism. And you see there's an agenda there and you see where the things are going. Now, those people could be very happy going to a reform or conservative congregation. But no, they don't go to a reform or, or conservative congregation. They want to change Orthodox Judaism. Why? Because their goal, their pure goal, is to destroy Orthodox Judaism. It is not to be happy not to live their lives, it's basically to destroy Torah Judaism, is to pull Jews away from the Torah. And there is their, it's their clear mission. A lot of those documentaries use paid actors, and the others use those that didn't behave within the community. And, you know, you only hear their side of the story a lot of times you can see that the story is heavily edited, heavily changed. They say one thing in one interview, one thing in another interview to different news outlets. They, they can't keep their story straight because it's fictitious and it is changed in order to give a positive um, impression on the one that is living Judaism. And the red flag here is that in a lot of those documentaries, they are saying that it is a Chabad, and um, Chabad is actually not that uh, conservative. It is actually very welcoming. They they try to attack Chabad because Chabad is doing is the the best in terms of spreading awareness and reuniting Jews around the world and bringing them back to Torah. So it is an attack on Chabad. 
you will see that they will never mention that they are, you know, there is always in those documentaries a reference to Chabad. It is a clear, clear, clear attack on Chabad. And it is really serious. It is really serious because Chabad is one of the, they do a lot of charity. They do a lot for world jewelry in general. If, let's imagine I go back to Japan. I want to eat kosher and I want to find a Jewish family to spend Shabbat. I just call Shabbat, Chabad, and tell them, you know, I'm going to Japan. I don't know Jewish families there. Can you hook me up? Um, where can I go to shul? Stuff like that, you know, really basic stuff. And Chabad is in almost every country for the population that is there, even if small. So for them to be attacking Chabad Judaism is very, very specific and very, very targeted. Their plan is to create a very negative impression on the general public that is not informed about Judaism and is not informed about, you know, Chabad, so that the public can create, start having outrage against Chabad and potentially close their, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's really messy and I really don't like the, you know, you see all these YouTube videos and it's really, really, you see Orthodox Judaism always portrayed in a negative way on YouTube, on that Netflix documentary, and everywhere. It's it's really it's really nasty, and and you see that they will want to give you the idea that Orthodox Judaism is extreme, and it's not. It's really not. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't believe a person who chooses to abandon his children to change sex and uh, abandon his family, or a woman that chooses to ab abandon seven children, you know, just to be with another woman, because she has seven children. And I mean, I understand what it is that maybe she didn't like her, her husband and okay but leaving your children have seven children i'd rather be single for the rest of my life than leave my seven children you know that's the thing you have to think what kind of person gives up her own children and you see that the she i don't know it's it's a very leftist mentality. Is the me, me, me. I matter, I matter. My kids, my husband, my family, screw them. They don't matter. And that's the kind of thing. It's an attack on family because... Orthodox Judaism is very, very family-oriented. And you place a great value on family, on family environment and you see that these little I don't know what to call them those that leave Judaism to go get party to party to do drugs to marry with someone the same gender to go prostitute themselves I've seen one that abandoned Orthodox Judaism to become a prostitute. And she accuses her father of driving her to prostitution. It's really intriguing the way they try to say that Orthodox Judaism is what led them to that environment. When you see that they all say that they had a happy childhood, 
and that their parents were loving. You see that, you know, there was that family environment. And then they claim it was a nightmare because they didn't know that they were brainwashed. How was it a nightmare if as a child you were happy and you didn't know anything outside and that what you knew made you happy? How can you as an adult change your perspective of your childhood and say that you were miserable when when you were a child you felt happy and you yourself recognized that you were happy as a child being an Orthodox Jew? And the thing is, you don't understand that you're not happy now about it, but you were happy back then. So, in fact, it is not being Orthodox Jew that destroyed your life. It is secularism that destroyed your life because you felt that you were missing out. When in reality, you, have, you had a happy childhood. Can you imagine being raised secular with parents who don't care about you, don't give you values, and basically, you know, uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I just feel these documentaries, beware, because they're very, very uh, misleading. Um, you should always research the background of the person. They claim that, you know, one of the most respected judges um, was paid off by a um, complot of Orthodox Jews that have so much power that they can influence uh, judges. Is it the judges that are influenced by Orthodox Jews or is the person that left the community that has something very negative about them, some very nasty trait. They were not good parents and therefore they lost the custody of their children. If even secular judges side with the orthodox parent, there is a great, great deal of information that those documentaries don't give you. Why? Because they are trying to make you empathize with the victim who left Judaism. Because if you know the other side of the story, you get to think for yourself and make your own decision. And they don't want you to make your own decision about Orthodox Judaism. They want you to get to the conclusion that it is bad and they want you to take action against Orthodox Judaism. That's what they are trying to do. They make all these documentaries to turn you against religion. And pay no illusion. They're going to say that anything that isn't Marxism is bad. That's what they're going to do. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's really revolting that the internet is saturated with that is really saturated with that you rarely see a video that portrays orthodox judaism as something uh, other than negative it's really really rare and um you should see that there is an agenda it's not a documentary it's propaganda a real documentary would look into the allegations and see both sides of the story. This is not a documentary. It is anti-Orthodox propaganda. And I would seriously not watch it if I were you. It's really bad. And um, I don't know. <sighs> it's, it's frustrating. And it, it's really frustrating. They want to give a very negative image of Hasidim and Judaism, Orthodox Judaism in general. They will give the idea that they are some kind of Amish, uh, secluded uh, society that doesn't know how to use the internet. They don't know how to use bank accounts. 
you know, there is a real, real attempt at demonizing. They don't say that lots of families are happy that, you know, and they also don't understand that these people are trying to raise Jewish children and pull them away from their mitzvah. And, you know, a lot of them stop eating kosher and start, you know, it's, it's really serious in the Jewish community. And it's easy as an outsider not to understand the repercussions of this in the life of, of a Jewish child. It's really bad. I don't know. There is so much I want to say, but it's already 25 minutes long. I think I'm going to stay here and stop here and just beware when you watch those documentaries. They don't know. It is like they ignore that there is many types of Jews, many types of Hasidim and the thing is, I think they do it on purpose because every time you try to show them as some bad Jews and in a lot of those documentaries and videos, they go against Chabad and it's a clear, clear agenda that is attempting to undermine Orthodox Judaism. They failed to do it with their proxy modern, modern Orthodox movement. They failed to do it in other ways, so now they're trying to, you know. Anyway, that's it for this video. Bye and thanks for watching. Do say if you know of any of these propaganda tactics and other videos that I may not have seen. Um, it's really hard and disappointing. And anyway, that's it. Bye and thank you.